What is up everyone, Safe Investor AG here, and today I bring you another episode of Versus, 15 minute uh, comparison between the two contenders will be Hedera and Solana, so let's get to it. Now, we're gonna jump right to it because I only have 15 minutes. So, um, we need to understand um, HBAR and Solana. There's gonna be surprising facts. I'm sure you're gonna find them surprising, um, but let's get to it. So Solana, Okay, what is Solana? Solana is a highly functional open source project that banks on blockchain technologies permissible, permissionless nature to provide decentralized finance DeFi solutions. While the idea and initial work on the project began in 2017, Solana officially launched in 2020. Hmm, right around the same date as HBAR. Keep that in mind by Solana Foundation with the headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. To learn more about the project, check out the, we're gonna deep dive into Solana. So we're gonna go right here. <clears throat> now, the founder is Anatoly Yakovenko, okay? He's uh, the founder. But let's go right here. I believe um, it's here. Now, over a decade ago, fresh off the heels of the 20, uh, 2008 financial crisis, the world's first cryptocurrency made its debut on the global stage. Even as Bitcoin continues to reign supreme into the crypto markets, it has also paved the way for thousands of other digital assets. From being a temporary bubble, cryptocurrencies now is at $2 trillion. Remember, this was last updated about a year and a couple months ago. All right. Despite the launch of so many digital assets, new cryptocurrencies continue to enter the market attempting to tackle the issues that other assets have not yet been able to. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum, <clears throat> the first and the second largest cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, have been instrumental to the blockchain industry's growth, pioneering many of the technology's temporary contemporary use cases. However, they too have shortcomings in certain areas. As compared with newer blockchain-based platform scalability, okay, remains its biggest challenge ahead of both of them. When Ethereum was launched as a world computer, it was intended to be a single composable permissionless network that could run code in a, in a trustless environment and it's been useful and successful on most fronts. However, its lack of throughput, use of an unpopular programming language, highly latency and high gas fees if any of you have tried it um making exchanges on ethereum or buying tokens in ethereum that gas fees are stupid high anyways anyways solana so let's research a little bit about solana <clears throat> solana is great it's a uh, scalable um uh, okay, and uh, as you can see, the issue was um, scalability. Solana solved the issue. As a matter of fact, we see here, Solana was supposed to be the Ethereum killer, okay? The problem is it's been under a lot of, what should we say, under a lot of, uh, it's, it's in the hot seat. Why? Because there's so darn many outages. It's stupid. So it's a scalable, yes. But it craps on you all the time. As a matter of fact, there is, <laughs> they made a, a calendar of outages. It's so dumb. Why would you put your money here? Look, so in January, I get it, I get it, okay? I get it that, you know, if you would have uh, bought Solana, honestly, Look at the humongous run it had. It went from from the lowest low, which is 76 cents when it opened, all the way to $250. Now, if you would have bought it on before that, right before the spike at $26 to 100 and um, uh, $50, $60. But let's say you would have bought it at $2. That's at 100x, easy. But it has outages. Check this out. So you see this? The red dots you find here? These are the outages. Okay, in, in January 2022, look at all the dates it was out. 
partial outage, 16 hours and 24 minutes, 10 hours and 23 minutes, partial outage, 8 hours and 5 minutes. You see that? Now let's move on to the next three months. February was fine. March was fine. April was fine. Uh, no, no, no. The last day of April, major outage for two hours and 42 minutes. Now you may see, you may say, oh man, okay, it's, you know, the blockchain is down. It's cool, you know, um, whatever. No, it's not cool. It's, it's because you know what happened during those outages? Okay. Look. Solana one hack too many seeking alpha. A key Solana based centralized finance protocol, Mango Markets, was hacked for around a hundred million dollars on Tuesday. This isn't funny, okay? Uh, it, it's not. This was in October of 22. So let's scooch on to October, okay? Um, this thing, there's outages and it gets hacked all the time all the time this is people's money people that you know basically they 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 lost money here so i get that this is supposed to be the ethereum killer but i think people much rather pay the high gas fees than risk losing or getting hacked um and 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 and, and it just craps on you the block changes the minute it gets what what like i believe it's like 60,000 TPS, it just starts crapping down on you. So I know there's going to be uh, Solana shields that are going to be mad at my what I'm saying about Solana. Anyways, what is HBAR? Hedera is it's the most used sustainable enterprise great public network for the decentralized, for the decentralized econo economy that allows individuals and businesses to create powerful decentralized application dApps. It is designed to be fairer, more efficient, system that eliminates some of the limitations that older blockchain-based platforms face, such as slow performance and instability. It was, it was funded through an initial coin offering in August 2018. That's when it was, um, it was um, funded, guys. <clears throat> and it first launched open access to its mainnet just over a year later in September 2019. Now, I want you to keep, just remember those two dates because uh, this was in September 2019. This project became, began 2017, but it opened in 2020. Where is that date? Look at the date. Uh, right here, March 2020. It opened after HBAR, practically. But how come you haven't heard of H bar, how come you haven't? You know the news aren't talking about, you know, Hedera, Hedera this, Hedera that. Okay, and and not even the spike it had, you know, it went from three cents to sixty cents to sixty cents, so that's about a uh, fifty x, no twenty x. Excuse me. Why? H bar is a stronger eco. Uh, a, a much stronger contender with any other, um, I would say, blockchain. Because all these years, while Solana went out promoting himself as the Ethereum killer to gain traction, HBAR has been silently, okay, look at all those magnet created accounts, has been silently this is the governing council setting up its foundation boeing y'all see this lg ibm google standard bank look at it they're practically gonna dominate every sector every industry and and um the first and for, for the first and foremost H bar that fuel that powers Hedera services such as smart contracts, file storage, and regular transactions. Um, I'm trying to okay. Hedera is the native cryptocurrency of H bar Hashgraph, a platform that is positioned as an alternative to traditional blockchain. Because this is an alternative; it's not a blockchain. It's Hashgraph. 
technology and aims to excel in speed, efficiency, and security. This one is the highest, more secure um, than any of them. Hedera Hashcraft is distributed ledger technology, or DLT. According to the project, Hedera differs from other blockchains because it uses a new consensus algorithm called Hashcraft. Hashcraft, guys. Hashcraft. Okay. Um, and you can also stake. But anyways, I want to go and share this with you guys. Uh, let's get some of the details out, out of here. Solana market cap is a nine billion. So let's get the set up nine billion. And we all know H4 right now is sitting at 1.5 billion. Circulating supply, sorry, supply is 50 billion. Like this is stuff I almost know off the top, off the top of my head. Solana, um, a full supply is 500 million and it's at 371 million. So it's, a, it's running at probably uh, 60 something percent. So 539, 571. So 539 million. 539 million. And it's at what? 371 million. Okay, and we know H bar is at 25 circulating supply billion. Bottom to top, this is a no brainer. This one went 10,000%. And H bar organically, organically, okay, organically went 2,000%. Them not being you know, promoting themselves, marketing themselves, nothing. They came out first. Now they're looking inefficient. This is not financial advice, by the way. HBAR came out almost at the same time, but they were quietly, they knew they were gonna be the best. So they set the entire governing council up. Now they're going in the offensive. Now, <clears throat> Hedera, it's about to just Look, look, look at all the comparisons. Hedera versus Ethereum, better. Hedera versus Cardano, better. Hedera versus Ripple, better. Hedera versus Tesla is better. Obviously, it's better than Bitcoin. Hedera is better than all of them. All of them. Every single one of them. Okay. And then, one thing I want to show you guys is this. We're going to go deep into... Um, the last saucer swap labs, uh, what they said, the Hedera network has experienced explosive growth in the first month of 2023. Okay, this is just the beginning. So we're gonna click on this link. I wanna give you guys a quick update, saucer swap development. Okay, Hedera has experienced explosive growth in the first month of 2023. Not only has there been an uptick in the network, TPS due to Avery Demonsense uh, at my dot IO, use case going live, but we have also seen respectable growth in DeFi and DeFi metrics such as TVL. Now, the volume, the total value locked. As of January 22nd, there is 133 total value locked on Hedera. In which, out of the 133 million, guess who has a chunk of it? Saucer Swap has 23% dominance. Why do you think I am so bullish on Saucer Swap? 23%. So 133 million, Saucer Swap has 29 million of that chunk. H is gonna explode, and Saucer Swap is just gonna go, just explode even higher. Okay. H Bar is just gonna, oh man, it's gonna make so many people stupid rich. Now they're gonna start promoting themselves. Now H is gonna start because they have the foundation all set up. So, uh, not not financial advice. I see this going to two, three, four, five, ten bucks, twenty, thirty, fifty bucks within the next seven to ten years. And saucer swap, holy crap! I cannot imagine how high this thing is gonna skyrocket. 
But anyways, it's my biggest bag. I wanted to compare this with you guys because yes, although this one had the highest spike, this one, H4 is gonna get the last laugh compared to them all. And the one that will get the final laugh, it's going to be Saucer Swap. I'm gonna stay bullish. Uh, you guys have a great day. Um, please remember, don't be impatient, okay? Don't be lazy, don't be lazy, okay? And don't be greedy, all right? You guys have a good day. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think about this um, Solana versus H-Bar. And you guys take care. Bye.